Hello everyone, it has been a long time since the last book. Today's story is Fireman Sam and the Birthday Cake. Let's read! Fireman Sam and the Birthday Cake Dallas Price, Norman's mom, was busy cooking for Norman's birthday party. It's going to be magic, said Norman, putting some crackers on the table. Farmer Sam is going to come too. I wonder where the cake is, thought Norman, looking in all the cupboards. His mother watched him through the door. You won't find it in there, she laughed. James and Sarah arrived. Happy birthday, Norman! They called, giving him their birthday presents. Thank you, too. Th th these are really great, said Norman, as he unwrapped a drum and a whistle. Look at me! I'm a one-man band, cried Norman, and he marched around the room. Norman, off you go upstairs while I get your surprise ready called Dallas. Norman marched up the stairs. Trevor Evans and Fireman Elvis Crillington were the next to arrive. Fireman Sam is very sorry, but he can't come. He's still on duty, said Elvis. Where's Bella? asked Trevor, looking around. Shh, it's a surprise, said Sarah. As Bella peeped round the front door, "Come down now, Norman," called Dallas, turning out the lights. "Happy birthday to you," sang Bella, coming in with a birthday cake. Norman marched down the stairs, whistling and drumming. Toot toot, bang bang bang. Mamma mia! shrieked Bella. What a terrible noise! And she jumped out of the way. The birthday cake crashed to the floor. The burning candle set alight the wrapping paper and was lying on the floor. Trevor threw his coat over the flames to put them down. Quick! Outside, everyone! Calls Elvis, helping James and Sarah through the door. Everyone waited outside while Elvis called the fire brigade from the call box. A few minutes later, Farmer Sam and Station Officer Steele arrived in Jupiter. Farmer Sam ran aside and put out the flames. It's all right now, he called. What about my birthday cake? cried Norman, looking at the mess on the floor. The cake was ruined. Why don't you all come over to the cafe? asked Bella. I've got one of my special ice cream cakes in the freezer. That sounds... Like a really good idea, smiles Farmer Sam. We'll clear up here, and then I'll go to the cafe. Norman blew out the candles on the ice cream cake. Well, at least the fire meant you had to come to my party, Farmer Sam. He laughed. The end.